Hi, I'm Frank. Are you a little bit frustrated with the gas gauge on the Sea-Doo switch? Those little bars that just keep ticking down, but you don't really know how much fuel there is. Uh, it seems like it stays full forever, and then all of a sudden it just drops quickly. The gas gauges in your car are a continuous um, variable resistor. So as the fuel gauge float starts going down, it will automatically uh, move the needle on your car in a continuous manner. The c switch has stepped gauges. So in other words, where the float is, it's going to stay at the same level on the bars until it gets to the next step, and then it'll drop down uh, one bar and then so forth. So that's not the best gas gauge in the world, um, but it'll tell you what you need to know. But uh, with the information I'm going to provide here, I think you'll have a better understanding and know better where you are when you're out on the water. All right, we're going to start out now with a full tank. We're indicating full here. 29 gallons here. So now we'll go cruising and see what happens. We have our first drop of the uh, gas gauge bar and we are at 18.6 gallons or a third of a tank. We're now at just uh, just under 15 gallons, which is about half a tank. And this is what the gauge says. So when you're right there, you're at half a tank. We're now at half a tank. And that corresponds to 10 gallons. So when it says that you're at half a tank, you're really at a third of a tank. All right, so there you have a, uh, uh, an analysis of the accuracy of SeaDoo's bar graph gauge versus the yacht device's um, gauge, which it uh, measures the fuel remaining based on the uh, flow rate. So I hope this uh, helps you when you're uh, out and about, and happy motoring.